Hello everybody, this is Boaz Fader and I'm here with a weekly astrological message for the 11th to the 18th of February 2017. A very powerful week ahead, just after a lunar eclipse in the 22nd degree of Leo. A lunar eclipse that really asked us to give birth to our creative side, into our reality. And why is that so important? Because if we do not utilize this time to really recreate in our life things that we identify with, things that we love, things that actually make us take an active part, full of heart, within our own lives, within our personal lives, and within our environment, we could later on, later on this week even, uh, feel a little down and a little depressed and very passive. More about that in a second. Let's talk about this eclipse. This eclipse was on the 22nd degree of Leo. Of course, it would be more active for you in your life if you have personal planets or just any planet in your natal chart in the 22nd degree or around the 22nd degree of Leo. Oh, hello, Goose. Around the 22nd degree of Leo, around the 22nd degree of uh, Aquarius, the 22nd degree of Taurus or Scorpio, it would be more active in your life. This eclipse was came together with a Yod formation, the finger of God, really asking us to act out from a balanced place and not from a place that needs to prove too much to ourselves or our environment after being too passive in the past or not being active enough regarding the things we want to create in our lives and really walk forward in a way that is balanced and does not create a reaction from people around us for my environment that is not sustainable. Other than that, on the 11th of uh, February, we have two grand trines in the sky. One is a fire trine and the other is an earth trine. Two very beautiful energies, earth being very practical, very realistic, very on the ground, and fire being very passionate, very alive, and asking us to walk with that passion forward. The Grand Trine and Fire is between Uranus, between uh, the Moon and Saturn. So the Moon asks us to take things that we identify with, couple them with things that are feasible, that can actually withstand the tests of time, Saturn, and actually progress our own reality, Uranus. We take the Grand Fire, the, the Grand Earth Trine, that's Juno. Series and the North Node, the Dragon's Head. So Juno talks about the things that we are faithful to in our life. While Ceres or Demeter in the uh, Roman mythology talks about things that actually give nourishment to our environment, that don't only talk about our own ego and our own power, but actually provide sustenance to the people in the environment around us. And the Dragon's Head, the North Node, our future our destiny and how the road is opening up to us. Take these two energies and put them together and you have a very creative time, yet a time that could actually be very practical in the way that we take our steps forward here on the ground of this planet Earth. Utilize this time. Use it for your own advantage. Use it for the advantage of your community and your clan. If we don't, we can feel a little depressed and overly passive when the sun goes into Pisces on the 18th of February. So, happy birthday all you Pisceans out there. It is a time that is ultra creative, uh, very good for artistic endeavors or spiritual endeavors. We're a bit cut from space and time. We could feel a little like astronauts floating within our realities. And we have to be sure to harness that speech we have with the muses, the, our, our ability to connect to the world of imagination and harness that energy and bring it forth to our reality in practical ways and not escape into the uh, um, daydreaming uh, world or, or just into our own private, re own private worlds without really implementing any change on the ground. One more thing. This Wednesday, the Moon is going to join Jupiter in Libra. So during the daytime in the United States, during the evening time in Europe, 
It's a great time to just enjoy the company of people, enjoy good food and drink, and just the satisfaction of being alive. There's a lot of energy in the air, good vibes, and a lot of emotions. Remember that this conjunction happens in opposition to Uranus. So, on the less positive side, we could be a little less patient, we could want to be satisfied and satisfied now, and as long as we keep that in check, we are up for having a very beautiful, satisfying day on the 15th. I want to thank you for listening and of course for private consultations and lessons and courses or just any question you might have. Be sure to contact me. This is Boaz Feiler, Evolutionary Astrologer, signing out. Goodbye.